Hey guys, Big Papa Pump here. So, I wanted to show you my Baba. I have begun playing with my Baba once again. Got sick of that Dodo. He's a real pussy. He's slow as fuck. That's getting annoying. But I want to test different weapon types with this Baba. And check this out, I get style points as well. He's wearing Leviathan, which is Toad. He's wearing a piece of shit Ariats with only one melee splash jewel in it. Because the corruption only gave it one socket. Actually, I don't think the corruption did anything. I just uh, socketed it after it could not be corrupted. But, a CNC High Lords, Carry On Wind, which is Toad. Those tornadoes just stun the shit out of everything. And then these have Ravenfrost. Now, I would like to get more damage reduction, so a DR Ravenfrost would be told. This belt sucks. I do have a perfect string of ears that I haven't slammed yet. It has 8 Life Leech, 15 DR, and 15 MDR. It's told. It's on a mule right now, so I intend to get that shortly and pop it on this hawk. Then we have Go Rider, CNC, CNC Laying of Hands. Life on hit ones would be Toad, Death, and Breath of the Dying. Now, I'm going to make a Beast Circer. I found a Burr Room with my Druid, and I finally know what to do with it. I'm going to make a Beast Circer and experiment. Uh, one of you guys in the comments made mention how it's Toad, Beast and Breath of the Dying on a Barbarian. Of course, the repairs are going to be lame as fuck, but that's why I'm not going to make it any superior one. I just don't want to continually repair that damn thing for like a million gold because it's superior you know what I mean I have this grief as well I'm going to make a comparison video on that I'll show you his skills real quick his skills are told max battle orders I have three left over because I'm kind of contemplating what to do I could put one into taunt or I could go find item or both max sword mastery max frenzy Max, its first synergy cleave, it gives the most damage. I saw one guy who put some points into Whirlwind. There might be some situations where you need Whirlwind. Like in Tier 4, for example, those frenzy guys who are immune to physical. Actually, that one makes sense because I have this charm which uh, converts frenzy damage to magic. So that really helps against all physical immunes, it's totally. But yeah, his life isn't that bad right now, his HP. And I have 95 points left over. You know, that's just the Iceman waves, just to save up a bunch of your stats and skill points because you don't really want to fully commit. And you really don't like respect. It. You just like to save up all the mounts. But I might... I'm sure I'll apply those. I'm just trying to decide, do I use this for style points, or do I put Fortitude on there? The 48 strength, if you spec correctly, you know, that really adds up, man. And uh, you could have a lot of vitality over that. Although you don't need this much strength, so that probably doesn't make sense. You could get a four-socketed Leviathan and put DR a Burrs in it, maybe. Or probably don't need increased attack speed, but you could experiment with that. But I don't think it would make a change at all. Uh, depending if you're using the items that I'm using, which, you know, pretty damn fast. So yeah, a 40s Leviathan, and I do have one that I attained from Colin back in the day, early on in this ladder. I traded him like a Sir Rune for all his, sh his goodies, because he was just tired of his Frenzy Baba, because he was stuck on the Blaze of Ice Assassin, they're just too damn told. You know, it's hard to not do the Blaze of Ice Assassin if you, if you want to be, like, extremely optimal and kill speed and being able to do everything. But the Frenzy Bob is kind of chill, and it doesn't create all the splash and shit that the Blaze of Ice Assassin does. And you know, I'm just trying something different here. So this should be told, but... I don't know if Death is the best option here. I'm gonna experiment some with Grief and I'll make a comparison video and show you guys, you know, how cold that is. Uh, Breath of the Dying and Grief. 
And it's cool in uh, Path of Diablo because now you can actually go the sword and axe combo without missing out on much. Back in the day when I played on Botnet, before I became enlightened with Path of Diablo, I even went as far as one time to put 10 points into Sword Mastery and 10 points into Axe Mastery just so I could wield an unbreakable phase blade grief along with a indestructible Berserker Axe Breath of the Dying. But now you don't have to worry about that because in Path of Diablo it's just one-handed weapon mastery. So it applies to all weapon types. You know, as long as they're one-handed weapons. It'll be good, but the death does have some benefit. Um, the deadly strike, I think, is really nice. As you can see here, it continually alternates. Where's my deadly strike? Right there. 47. See so what's this? This goes 91, 47, 91, 47, because, uh, yeah, the deadly strike only applies to the hand. Well, the deadly strike that death gives, which is 43%, only applies to when you hit it with this hand, you know? The hand that death's in. So it doesn't cross over to your other hand. But. Holy shit! That's like three. Uh, three max damage, 20 AR, small terms right there. That's pretty toad. I did find a 11 max damage Grand Charm on my other guys, toad. On my uh, Bozon. So that's that's a toe job. But look at this. You guys got to see this jewel I found just last game, or yesterday, a few games back when I was doing Chaos Sanctuary. I want to get two more of these, or, or one more of these, okay? The greatest one I found so far, this ladder, in the cow level, I found a 27 max damage jewel. It was toad. But look at this shit. 29 max damage for a vermilion jewel of carnage. That's the same one that I found back in the day, only it had a lower roll, 27. I want to put two of these in a three-socketed area, along with a 15-15, or not 15-15, along with a Mela Splash, 15 max damage jewel. That would be so toad. Uh, that would be like, uh, that would be like a 75 damage nearly in your helm. You know, 75 max damage and melee splash. It would be close, you know. 73, depending on whatever the hell I get in the next jewel that I find, but that would be so toad. Because uh, max damage goes a long ways, man. Look at this. Here's 8 max damage, and watch. 59, 73, 58, 77. Yeah, so it gives almost 100 damage right there. Only 8 max damage. So this is going to give over 3 times that, you know? I'll get like 300 plus damage from this shit. And, uh, and then double that again, you know, I get another one in the helm. You know, that's almost 600 max damage added right there to this Baba. That would be so toad. And then there'll be a 15 melee splash jewel, you know, another almost double this, you know, another almost 200 damage. So six, seven, eight oval, almost a thousand max damage, man. That would be so toad. And I think that would calculate better than just getting 40 enhanced damage. Have you guys experimented with that? Depending on your synergies, you know, you get diminishing returns the more percent enhanced damage you get. Like this guy already has 328 from Frenzy alone, then an additional um, 155 from Weapon Mastery. You know what I mean? And then if you're wearing Fort especially, you get an additional 300%, you know, so we're talking like seven, eight hundred percent enhanced damage. And then the might that your Merc gives, you know, probably close to a thousand percent enhanced damage. So added to that, that 40% is going to be so fucking diminished, bruh. Uh, your max damage stuff, I think, is going to give you vastly, or a, a hill of a lot more damage, bruh. So that's kind of what I want to try. Oh shit, my uh, B.O. went out. But this Baba, it's been interesting. And uh, I like how he runs fast as, as, as a hog. And you can use Whirlwind too to mix the playstyle up a little bit. And it's not really, it's not that bad for damage, even with one point in it. 
but that would be interesting to put a few more points into that just have kind of a hybrid build and yeah i'll make a video comparing fortitude because i do have one i've been uh tossing that around with all my characters i originally made it for my boson and i think she still has it right now i'll probably be making more videos with her soon i kind of miss her so but yes this is uh I'm kind of intrigued by this now. You know, I was getting sick of that dodo. Just slow as fuck. I still want to try. Uber's with him. But beyond that, man, I'd like to try Uber's with this guy. And, uh, I'm kind of stoked to make Beast. You get the fanaticism aura. And I'll try Beast and Grief and Beast and Breath of the Dying, which I think is going to be most toad. But then again, I could try Beast and Death and see if the increased attack speed is all the same. It might be, you know, he might be maxed out with that fanaticism aura, especially if I have Beast in the main hand, because with Frenzy, your attack speed is primarily reliant on your main hand weapon. Um, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Shit. <clears throat> okay, let's go pop the other belt on so I can... Yeah, he's kind of strength glitched here. Yeah, that's a toad jewel that I found, though. That thing is bloody toad. Shit. Piece of shit. Okay. Okay, we'll go kill Satan. With this combo, he's pretty fast at killing him, but here's the thing. When I make Beast, I'll probably do that very soon. I have a burn one already. And the, I think I have the others as well. He's going to hit a lot more. See, right now he misses all the time with Satan. Let's see why that is. 74% chance of Remember, the Fanaticism Aura adds AR bonus, percentage-wise. I don't know how much. Maybe 150%? I don't know. But again, it's going to be somewhat diminishing because I'm already over 100% with my gear. But it's not going to be as diminished as, say enhanced damage percent, you know, because he has a lower AR percent increase. So it's going to be told, man. Uh, at AR, I think he's going to be attacking even faster, but we'll see. Going to have to repair that thing, but that'll be fine. It has crushing blow on it. And we'll see how that calculates the damage. You know, I think, I mean, it's going to be somewhat comparable. By He's going to be lacking in damage on his offhand then with Beast or his main hand, depending which one it's on. Because Beast has a pretty low damage, you know, it's made in a, uh, a non-eth item, so it's going to be fucking, he's going to take a hit there a little bit in his offhand damage or main hand damage, but that fanaticism will help make up for it some, so I'm looking forward to that shit, yeah, it's good to be back with the Frenzy Baba, man, and I might try to be more self-found with this guy now, you know, get a Raven Frost with DR, Get a corruption mod on this ring, because there's not even a corruption mod on this ring. It would be told to have DR on both of these. The DR from Leviathan is very nice, and the tears, I think it's important, because with this build, of course, you don't have a shield, and Storm Shield is just so damn important in those tears, so he's going to be suffering some, but we'll see if I can make up for it. And I might go Fort, or I might go Leviathan. I'm going to compare them some. Oh, but if you guys will like this damn video hit the thumbs up button really appreciate your support and become a patron if you want really appreciate you guys my patrons so link in the description below for that more videos to come on this baba let me know what you think about this build and what changes would you make and what things would you apply to him you know frenzy's told and in path of diablo I really like that frenzy grand charm that has been added because it was always a bitch just single target berserking all the uh, physical immunes but now you don't have to do that man you can just go in like a hog and uh, just start chopping away at anything man so it's told peace be with you guys